So it's a very exciting project in the fact that it's integrating both my research and my teaching programs. And so from the research side of things, uh, we are gonna be studying these mixtures or cocktails of contaminants that are occurring in our rivers around the state, and then finding methods for actually treating and removing these particular contaminants so that we have better water for our people, for their environment, for the ecology of our systems. We're actually seeing what we call cocktail or agricultural and um, human personal care product mixtures. So what we were studying is definitely the nutrients, particularly the nitrogen that's in these systems that can lead to those toxic algal blooms, but also what are we seeing from an antibiotic perspective, from a pesticide perspective, um, and other types of personal care products like caffeine um, in the natural environment. So we're, we're measuring those in these four different landscape regions, and that is giving us data to be able to go back to the lab and be able to create miniature best management practices utilizing wetlands. So what we're doing in the laboratory setting is once we find what we are seeing in the natural environment coming back and building these miniature wetlands, then we're enriching those wetlands with these different chemicals and then seeing if different types of plant species, different types of soil, all those different things could actually implement it in these different regions to provide remediation for these contaminants. The more educational component of this project actually focuses in on working in four different regions of Kentucky. So we're gonna be working with high schoolers that are in areas that um, are rural. And then we're also gonna be working with some urban um, regions like in Lexington and connecting these high schools so these different students from different regions of the state are actually able to talk about their observations of their own water quality in their particular communities. The overall impact we're hoping to have is um, develop these cost-effective treatment uh, mechanisms for us to be able to use not only in urban sectors but also in rural communities um, that are going to be able to purify and bioremediate some of the contaminants that we're seeing in the natural environment. On a bigger perspective from a social side of things, we're hoping to also connect these communities where you have students talking from very different regions, very different socioeconomic backgrounds, have them be able to talk about what they're observing and seeing that we all have different challenges on water quality. So this NSF career grant is a really unique uh, opportunity for me to be able to give back to the Commonwealth versus um, just study a particular component that we're interested in. Being part of a land-grant institution that's really critical and also part of the College of Agriculture, um, Food and Environment here at the University of Kentucky. Um, being able to connect what we find in the lab and in the field and then be able to communicate that to our communities through extension programs is really critical. We have a, a fantastic infrastructure here at the University of Kentucky that it provides us the farms. So we can do a lot of these projects um, and we have a greenhouse and it's pretty easy to get the plants and the materials, but actually connecting and building trust within these communities to allow us to go in and actually sample their water, connect with their high schoolers, connect with their teachers, and if we can't explain it on a third grade level, then it probably is not in a level that we can explain it to a politician or um, someone that would be implementing this inside of their regulatory measures. So we try really hard to focus in on that as well when we're designing these experiments. It's something that our team is particularly really excited about, but also something that we're trying to do very carefully because we want to build those connections that we can hopefully utilize and sustain throughout my entire career here. I grew up in a um, an Appalachian area of Kentucky, and so getting to come up with some of these new uh, innovative and creative, but also cost-effective measures to be able to be implemented in the region I grew up in is always exciting as well.